Divinity Original Sin 2 is an absolutely fantastic game, probably one of the best RPGs ever in my opinion. And although it does feature necromancy and minions, it doesn't have the best necromancy out there. Luckily with mods you can fix this. First I'll examine the base game and then I'll talk about the mod. The minions in the base game are very useful and also very fun, but are not perfect and break a lot of the Cheb Gonaz golden rules of minion mechanics. Here's why. Firstly, minions should be plentiful. In Divinity Original Sin 2, you can only summon one minion at a time. Rather disappointing. One minion is better than no minions, but it still sucks. Secondly, minions should be permanent. In Divinity Original Sin 2, all the minions are timed. They exist for about 10 turns, which is a lot of time during a battle. And they can be brought back, but I don't like time minions. They feel gimmicky and it just frustrates me that a powerful necromancer has only a bunch of temporary minions around. Thirdly, minions should be useful. Here's where the base game really shines. All your minions are very capable and useful without being overpowered. Finally, the summoner should be weak so that the minions are strong. If you're a summoner, your minion will be fighting for you and you'll be doing some kind of support role by buffing it making totems, healing it, etc. My characters in my playthroughs have been tanky, yet unable to deal effective damage without a minion, so the game does well in this regard. On top of this, the base game does not have any of the standard necrotic minions you would expect your necromancer to have. You get a bloated corpse, which is summoned from the corpse of an enemy. It deals melee damage and can explode on command, so it's kind of like a mobile bomb. I like this one and it's useful, especially at the beginning of the game. I have a weakness for all kinds of blob and slime-like creatures. I find them kind of cute, so I appreciate this minion quite a lot. The second minion you get is a huge burn spider. It deals colossal physical damage, has a large health pool, and can burrow around. Both of these minions have no magic shield though making them vulnerable to magic damage and effects like stun. Towards the late game, they will be almost useless due to the high amount of magic that gets thrown around, so you'll have to buff them with magic shields and stuff if they're to have a chance. In my playthroughs, I've always taken a backseat to the minions provided by the summoning skill, the incarnate, which is an imp-like creature, and totems. Both can be infused with the powers of the terrain that they're summoned on and take on that aspect. This allows you to control what kind of damage your totems and incarnate will deal, which is important to overcome the resistances of enemies. At higher levels, your incarnate deals more damage than both your necrotic minions and has a large magic shield. So the only time you'd use an undead minion is when your incarnate is dead and on cooldown. So obviously there's some problems here. Fortunately, there's a load of mods out there that fix this. The one I'm currently testing is called Necromancy Kickass by Moz Paydux. Here's how the mod helps. The mod allows you to have up to three minions. This is a fantastic improvement and makes a minion build so much more fun. The summon limit is also optional, so you can leave it at the game's default of one summon if you prefer. The mod also adds six new undead minions to the game. An undead warrior, undead archer, undead ogre, undead cat, undead hand, and the thing. The hand and the thing are spellcaster undead, something missing completely from the base game. The ogre is a tanking minion, and the cat is some kind of rogue. All the spell books needed for these minion spells can be crafted in the game from normal necromancy skill books and an item. For example, to get the Undead Warrior, you need a necromancy skill book and a sword. And for the Archer, it's a necromancy skill book and a bow. I've been testing this mod out and it's a lot of fun. The new minions mesh well with the standard ones and seem to be just what the game needed. So far I've only gotten my hands on the Undead Warrior and Undead Archer, and both are a wonderful addition to my Bloated Corpse and Incarnate. 
from reading a little bit of the modder's replies to questions in his comments section of the mod, it seems that, just like in the base game, the summoning skill contributes to the strength of your minions, including the undead ones. Apparently this is something built into the game and can't be changed, or at least not easily changed. This means that for effective minions, you should have a high summoning skill, even if you only intend to use undead ones. Installation of the mod is easy and well documented by the modder. The minions seem balanced and look the part, and the summon limit increases absolutely brilliant. Essential in my opinion. The only problem is that the new summons exist for a much shorter time than the normal minions. Instead of 10 rounds, these ones hang around for only 6 rounds. This is okay, but certainly noticeable in a battle. The next mod to cover is called Overlord Necromancy by Desgon. It seems to be inspired by, or at least based upon, necromancy found within an anime called Overlord. I don't know what Overlord is, but it has necromancy so it can't be bad. I'm not going to try this mod out or feature it yet because it seems to be in the early stages of development right now. I'll check in on it in a few months and see how it's shaped up. It implements some different minions than the Necromancy Kickass mod does, and seems to be of a slightly different flavour, so you may want to check it out as well. So if you want to play a Necromancer in a game with a great story, interesting companions, and fantastic turn-based tactical combat, I recommend you try Divinity Original Sin 2 with the Necromancy Kickass mod. It certainly made the game much more enjoyable for me. You'll find the link to the mod in the description. Before I go, I'd just like to show you the bloated corpse minion, and I'll also let it explode to finish off this last guy. It's a pretty cool minion. As I said before, this minion is one of the standard minions that's not part of the mod, and it requires a corpse to be summoned.